The true devastation caused by this storm has still to be discovered. But where aid teams have managed to reach, they found homes flattened and businesses destroyed. The death toll simply isn't known yet. The president of Vanuatu has called Cyclone Pam a monster. And on road after road, there's evidence of the terrifying impact of the fierce winds. It's just very frightening. You don't know what to do. It makes you uh, panic and not really know if I could face another day. Families are trying to work out how they rebuild their lives. Many children are among those left effectively homeless. They were really scary. They cried and I cried also. But I just, I just have to be strong for them. All the houses were blown out. Everybody have lost all their properties. And uh, all the fruit trees are all blown over. Help has started to arrive. The airport in the capital, Port Vila, was damaged. But the first flights carrying aid supplies have now been able to land. And charities say they are badly needed. This river has come and risen probably more than four metres over this barrier um, to, uh, to cover the entire roads sweeping everything in its path away. There are fears about what's happened elsewhere. Contact still hasn't been made with some of Vanuatu's remotest islands. The storm itself has now moved towards New Zealand, but it's weakened. At the height of its power, wind speeds reached around 300 kilometres an hour. It's a difficult... I am praying that uh, they they are able to cope with the situation they have on the ground right now. Even in my own family, I have the last time I, I, I spoke to them when I left last Thursday. There is a concern that these images of devastation are only the beginning, and a fear among aid workers of what will be found when they reach outlying islands. Chris Buckler, BBC News.